where does experience come from? This almost sounds like a trick question, right? <laughs> Experience doesn't come from the world around us. It actually comes from the world within us. And this really blew my mind when I learned about this. Because I always thought that my experience was derived from my external physicality. I had no idea that that did not dictate or directly create my personal life experience. Like, <laughs> Life experience comes from inside of our own individual miraculous consciousness. The external aspects of physicality are merely activators for the sensation, experiential sensations inside of our consciousness. Experiential sensations through human consciousness are where personal experience come from. Outside, the outside world is just things that activate those experiential sensations within us. And so no matter what's going on here, our experience is coming from inside of us. And of course, the outside world will have an impact because it's activating experiential sensations within us. But our actual personal individual life experience always comes from inside of our consciousness, which means that our experience is more about how our consciousness has developed and is now processing information than the external specifics of what we are experiencing. And this can hold a lot of insight with a lot of different, you know, meanings to apply to unfolding life. Life experience is so beautifully unique and vastly complex and expansive because experience comes from our consciousness and not the outside world. Human experience is so vastly unique because every single internal world is so unique. Every human consciousness is its own unique, expansive place. And from that space, life experience unfolds. And so there could be this one physical thing that a hundred or a thousand different people experience, and all of the experiences will be different. Because experience doesn't come from the one external physical thing that was the same for all the people that experience is coming from inside each individual person's miraculous consciousness. This can help us connect with ourselves and with one another in a deeper way. Because no matter our external circumstances, we can take pause and harness our personal power moving through the experience so that we have a say in the unfolding. Because experience isn't coming from outside of us, it's coming from inside of us. Again, of course there's going to be an effect of the external specifics because it impacts our consciousness and the way our consciousness is engaging with itself. But no matter what we're going through, we always have power in our response and how we are allowing our consciousness to be, and that will impact the way we experience life and experience ourselves and experience one another. So no matter the external specifics, we always have power moving through experience because experience doesn't come from outside of us. It comes from within our miraculous consciousness, and we always have power within our consciousness. We always have power. We always have influence. We always have the option for presence. And that might look different for different people at different points of the journey, but it's still there no matter what. It's still there. And this can really help us create space with compassion for all of the vast diversity of experience, knowing that the people around us are not having the same experience that we are, even though we're here in the same vicinity and we seem to be looking at the same things and talking about the same things and going through the, you know, even though the external physicality holds so many similarities, every single person is having their own unique experience. And we can allow for this knowledge to just create this infinite space of unconditional compassion. 
for ourselves and for one another, knowing that we are having this unique experience through our consciousness, knowing that there's this vast diversity around us and within us, and that that diversity is beautiful and profound and expansive and infinite. And just taking pause to tune into that knowing can bring us so much peace and beauty and empowerment. Life experience doesn't come from outside of us. It comes from within us, through our consciousness. I want you to join this conversation. I want you to be a part of this worldwide discussion. Here is a conversation started for you. I encourage you to comment below or respond in a journal prompt or write a blog post or create your own video or have a discussion with a friend or start a conversation with a family member. I encourage you to take this discussion prompt and transform it into something that you engage with in your personal life. Conversations about consciousness matter. You matter. Your voice matters.